Good morning, gamers! I play with you five here. I am back in Undertale. And I'm now going to go into Waterfall. Sans is here. Monster Kid and some other thing. Avoid the rocks. Go forward. This doesn't look good. Let's just walk through the grass. It's Undyne. Ha uh, hi. Hi Undyne, I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What, did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard. Undyne. But in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to do you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh no. No, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. No. See me, good. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. Why, why did you get her attention? Haha. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Tell Monster Kid's a super fan of Undyne. do this. You, you line up four of them in a row, and then you pass. And then, then you can pass. What is it? Oh, another lag spike. Lag spike, my favorite. Aaron flexes in. Flex. Twice as hard. Attack increase for both of you. Flex is very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Part looks pretty confusing, but I know how to beat it. You don't line them up in like a vertical line, you line them up horizontally. You go down here, let it float up, and then you get it right there. Get to line up, and then again, you can now pass. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I am asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a gross bandage. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? So, you aren't wearing a gross bandage. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. I think I still am wearing that bandage, because I haven't found anything I could really use. No, not fight. No. And clean, and then you get the green, just like Vegetoid. I don't know if I encountered Vegetoid in the ruins. The green. And then you can spare him. I was trying to get more than one green, which is why I was like running into attacks and stuff. And this may seem impassable, but you just enter, and then... Hit enter or Z when you're up against the wall, and then it opens up and you can walk through. Uh-oh. Not 
It's undone. Yep, it's undone. She just grabbed Monster Kid and not me. He looks so, like, guilty. He just puts him down slowly. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never watching my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. You're standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Extract the cheese from the magical crystal. It fills you with determination. Hello, Sans. What's in here? Oh, the nice cream stand, but... No, not stats. I think there's a lag spike right now. I think I'm carrying too much. But I'll try and buy one anyway. There's still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. You have three cards. You can trade them for a free nice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25 gold. Yes, I'll take some. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Yep, I'm carrying too much. Would throw away the glove, but I want to sell that Temi Village, so... is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, a friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. He said you are not wearing a gross bandage. So, of course, I actually told her. You are indeed wearing a gross bandage. It, it pained, pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a gross bandage, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowee, this is hard. I just want... I just want to be everyone's friend. What is it now? Mold Smalls. Here it comes, whatever it is. What is this, like anime octopus? Hey, there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sand. Onion Sand, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. My big favorite. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but hey. That's okay. Beats moving to the, moving to the city, living in a crowd. Lag spike. Crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. Another lag spike. I'll see you around. Have a good time in Waterfall. Playing this game on an older computer, so yeah, there's a few lag spikes. Siren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. You got to hum. 
No, another piano room. It's a statue. The structure at uh, its feet seems dry. Oh god, monster kid. Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either. If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll walk with you, huh? These are so many lag spikes. But then again, I am playing this game on an older computer, so... You're just gonna have to bear with me with the lag spikes. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was gonna beat me up. Ha ha. So, one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. My god, how many lag spikes are there? That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teacher. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. I think that's Asgore's castle. Pretty sure it is. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Hmm. What? Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Come on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. It's not a muffled ray on the cave top. It fills you with determination. What is it? What are these? Yeah, that's a lot of them. Undyne. It's Spears, it's un- If it's Spears, it's Undyne. I know that for a fact. you're supposed to go back and then Undyne will be waiting for you and then you can proceed. There's Undyne. And I fall into the abyss. It's 
Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down. Haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. I play, huh? That's a nice name. My name is what? Pretty sure it's Azriel. Mad dummy. Ha 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 ha. It's just like it's just like you to run away. I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable, spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. And you actually can't hurt this guy. Like, I'll show you what happens if you fight him. Fight him. Falls apart like you beat him. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me. I'm still incorporeal, you dummy. And then he just reforms. Wait, is dummy a compliment? Uh, no. So you have to do that. You have to let have him get hit by his own attacks. Oh yeah, and I also bought some cinnamon buns off camera. And he took that to the face. Huh, yeah, I guess I'll avenge my cousin. Thanks, Spike. Darn it. Need this guy to get hit by his minion's attacks. Hit him. Hey, guys. Dummies, dummies, dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures. You're fired. You're all being replaced. Ha 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 ha. Now see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Dummy bots, magic missile. So the best method I found is loop around and then blow them up. Oh, they all miss. Darn it. No! Oh my god. First time I've actually died in this series, I think. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. If 
that would have actually like done damage, that would have been a critical attack. That was like center. I'm gonna try and keep my health high because that's like the tactic to win. So not to shoot at me? Well, failures. Yeah, I've heard this all before. Loop around. Blow them up. They all missed. I'm not gonna worry about the missiles, I'm just gonna worry about staying alive, because this is what killed me last time. Oh god. Oh, a lot of those made contact. No way, these guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives! I'm... Out of knives, but it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever, forever, forever! <laughs> what the heck is this? Erg, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. It's no problem, Nasta Bluke. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. What? Oh, it clo the window closed. Thank God that notification was in the way, or else you would have seen, like, my fourth grade self. So thank God that notification was in the way. It was just a picture of a trip to South, Daco South Dakota. I went to Mount Rushmore. That notification wasn't in a way. You'd see a picture of my fourth grade self. So thank God it was blocking. Turn on the mushrooms, and then I can, and then I can pass through. What is it, Temmy? You need to talk. I've never seen this attack, attack before. Now I can spare because I talked to him. Temmie Village. You feel something. You're filled with determination. 
Uh, I'm going to sell my glove. Whoa, you got tough gloves? Hmm, I gotta have that tough gloves, but I gotta pay for college. Hmm, ten mollies want a tough glove. Yeah, because I need some monies. And when he says bye, he just says like boy, because he spells it B B O I. So he literally says boy when he's saying bye. Boy? One is a mold spawn, but another is a. Uh, I'm just gonna get him to come out of the ground. Small attack. Yeah, come out of the ground. Unhug. And I can spare. You gotta find the lanterns in this room because it is hard to navigate when it's dark. Good thing there's a lantern right here. Usha and Aaron. I can move on without without that enemy encounter. Oh god, it's dark now, but I can just faintly see which way is up. Okay, lantern. Turn on the lantern. And then this room gets darker, just like the lantern room. And then all you have to do. Talk to the Echo Flower. Behind you. Here's Undyne. Seven. Seven human souls. The power of the seventh human human souls are king. King Asgore Dreamer. We become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight! Yo, you did it! Undyne's right in front of you! You've got the front row seats for a fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey, you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Yo. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Haha, <laughs> man, I knew it. 
Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Haha. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Oh no. Yo, wait. Help. I'm tr I tripped. Here, Monster Kid, I'll help you up. There. Yo. Dude, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. This backs away. What? Are you scared of Monster Kid? She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being angry was just was just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> we'll have to be friends instead. We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. Then my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? You're your seventh and final soul. This world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Nah! You, you're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool, but they're giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you, you're just a coward, hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. That's not even right about your wimpy goody too too schnick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands us between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been weighing their whole lives for this moment. We're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this. Right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> It then, no more running away. Here I come. Unguard. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. What was that about not lasting a second? Not bad, then how about this? For years we dreamed of a happy ending. And now sunlight is just within our reach. I know what she said, even though it cut off. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Nah, enough warming up. Okay. Peace. See ya, Undyne. You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. How? You're killing me. How are you doing me a favor? No humans ever made it past Asgore. Eat something. So stop being so resilient. Oh god. See ya.
Stop slowing me down. You escaped me from the last time. Still, only humans were determined. I see now what she meant by that. But I'm determined too. End this right now. Right now. Oh god. She said right now again. Alright, little brat. No! Ugh. Man. Well, I've been recording for a while, and I know you're probably getting bored, so I'll save Undyne's fight for another time. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!